Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, some more complex momentum problems. Uh, momentum is very important because anytime anything hits another thing, it's going to have both mass and velocity, which is what momentum equals. And we know that in any momentum situation, if you have things hitting each other, if you have any kind of collision, the momentum of uh, the first situation transfers into the second and they're equal. So we understand that there's always a conservation of momentum. So our momentum initial is going to equal our momentum final. Now, um, we've talked about things just in the linear sense, like, you know, what if two things collide that are going like this? Well, what if uh, two things collide and they're going, um, they're going like this, right? So, uh, so let's say that we have uh, two boats. Uh, let's call this boat A. This is how I draw boats. I learned that one um, in first grade. I think I got an F. Um, let's say that the momentum of A over here is large. Let's say that these are big boats. Um, so let's say that my momentum of A is, um, is uh, 18,592 is my momentum here. Let's say my momentum here is 24,900. So big old boats hitting, what's going to happen? Well, when these two things collide, these two momentums are going to transfer into a new momentum that's going to go off at an angle. Um, but what we know is that the momentum initial of, of A and the momentum initial of B, right? Oops, I did that wrong. should have done momentum B initial, is going to equal the momentum of these two stuck together. So let's say that they... When they collide, they get stuck together, then they move off in this direction, final. All right, so this really isn't that difficult <clears throat> because the nice thing is we have a triangle like this. We have a north vector, we have a west vector, and then we have this. Um, so let's just use this west and north kind of coordinates right here. Um, so let's go ahead and figure this out, and we can figure out the angle that they come off here. It's pretty simple. Um, so we have um, our different parts of our triangle already. We know that part, and we know that the 24,991. So I probably drew this, um, I drew this triangle wrong. Uh, this is my longer vector. That bothers me. So there we go. A little bit better. <clears throat> All right, so anyways, we need to figure out this angle here. And uh, we need to figure out the actual value of this. Well, I'll just do a little Pythagorean theorem here. So if you said that the um, momentum final of both of these is, uh, if you use Pythagorean theorem, you could uh, solve for the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is what you want. So we could say that the square root of um, okay, go PA uh, plus PB is what these two are. So the square root of 18592 uh, plus 24991 is going to give us our um, momentum final which is 31148. Um, so let's go ahead and put the right, the right uh, unit on there. So, um, so 31148 kilograms times meter seconds. That's my initial, or that's my final momentum of these two things together. Um, you could also figure out the velocity, right? Because um, if you knew the masses of each one of these, and you probably would, you could figure out the velocity, right? Because that, um, that momentum final equals the mass of A plus the mass of B, right? Times that uh, final velocity right there. So if you knew the masses of each of these, you could just insert that into there, and you know the, the momentum right there, so you could solve for your final velocity going in that direction. Um, and, or if you knew the final velocity, um, you could maybe solve for the masses um, and so forth. So um, a lot of your problems are probably going to ask you to get down to one of these kinds of situations, but it's pretty simple. Um, knowing that this initial uh, momentum equals this final momentum, if they're going to hit at an angle and stick together, um, you've got this situation right here. Um, so this one is, uh, is pretty simple, um, especially since it forms a right triangle. 
Um, one that is a little bit more complicated would be the idea of uh, pool balls. When you hit a pool ball, right, you have uh, one pool ball that hits another pool ball, right, and then um, it'll shoot maybe that pool ball off in this direction, and then, you know, the um, original ball will fly off, right, in, uh, in another direction. Um, so, so then what? What's the idea of having a momentum in one direction and then transfer to two balls that move in two different directions. Um, and of course, this is really important for understanding how to play pool because if your pocket is over here, you wanna make sure that that ball goes into that pocket right there. So in the next video, we're going to um, sort of discuss that and uh, give an idea about how you would solve uh, for a momentum problem that breaks up into multiple angles.